everyone, and welcome to Feeding Green Chat. I'm your host, Elise Schaefer, editor of Feeding Green. This edition of Feeding Green Chat is brought to you by Watt Global Media and FeedingGreen.com. FeedingGreen.com is your source for the latest news, product, and equipment information for the grain handling and feed manufacturing industries. Today, I'm joined on Zoom by Jess McClure. Vice President, Safety and Regulatory Affairs for National Grain and Feed Association. He's here to update us on the annual Harvest Safety Week that NGFA organizes each year. Hi, Jess. Thanks for joining me. Hi, Elise. Thanks for having me. Yes, absolutely. Now, can you describe the theme of NGFA's Harvest Safety Week this year and why you thought it was important to focus on this subject? Sure. This year, NGFA is going to focus the entirety of our Harvest Safety Week on safety as value in the workplace and the importance of building safety-first environments at grain handling facilities. So during times of increased hazards, like harvest season, it's incredibly important to have an established safety program. And NGFA member companies across the country have programs that rely on leadership, employee empowerment, and innovative resources to send a workers home safely each day. Uh, this year, we'll publish several videos featuring NGFA member company CEOs, safety directors, and facility managers on their approaches to cultivating safety-minded workplaces. So what are some approaches that elevators can take to cultivate safety-minded workplace at harvest and all year round? Sure. NGFA's members are really experts in this area. Uh, we have nearly a thousand member companies utilizing unique approaches that work for them and their employees. And many of these companies employ experts in safety with decades of experience. They each have their own programs. But for example, some of them build programs based on the human and organizational performance operating philosophy, which recognizes error as part of the human condition and builds systems that are more tolerant of error. Uh, NGFA recently published a podcast with Steve Scott, founder of HOP Improvement, LLC, which breaks down the principles of this operating philosophy and how they might apply at Grand Handling Facility. So can you tell us about the resources on safety culture that are available through the National Grain and Feed Foundation? Sure. Several videos featuring NGFA members and leaders are available at ngfa.org backslash, backslash safety. These include a panel discussion on workplace safety culture, as well as new videos we're publishing this year featuring NGFA members discussing what valuing safety means to them, how attitudes toward workplace safety have changed over the, their careers, and specific hazards they expect to address during the upcoming harvest season. Our safety page has many other training videos and safety tip sheets dedicated to specific best practices, including mitigating combustible dust, screen and entry, and a new one will be releasing uh, during Harvest Safety Week on lockout tagout procedures. Mm, all very important topics. Now, to wrap things up, what are the dates and how can our viewers get involved? Sure. NGFA is hosting its fifth annual Harvest Safety Week on August 21st through the 25th. Uh, during the week, we deliver harvest-related safety information to anyone on our email list and encourage the sharing of safety resources available on ngfa.org backslash safety throughout the agricultural community. So go to ngfa.org and hit sign in to check if you are signed up to receive NGFA emails. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to ngfa at ngfa.org. All right, and on social media, tag safety events with the hashtag Harvest Safety Week. Correct, through Facebook and LinkedIn. Hey, excellent. Well, thank you so much for sharing your safety tips and more information about Harvest Safety Week. Well, great. Well, thanks for having me, Elise. Absolutely. That's all for today's Feed and Green Chat. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel, sign up for the Industry Watch daily e-newsletter, or go to feedandgrain.com and search for videos. Thank you again for joining, and we hope to see you next time.